Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to discuss the environmental problems in tropical region. Tropical region is covered by the rainforest. It forms a belt around the globe with most of the areas to the north and south of the equator. Three major tropical rainforests are South America, African, and Indo-Malaysian. The world's tropical forest ecosystem are very sensitive to disturbances such as logging, burning, and many other developmental activities. Converting natural ecosystem through agriculture, and other developmental activities combined with global warming poses a threat to our rainforest today. According to Food and Agricultural Organization, a land area equivalent to the size of Ireland is lost to this variety of activities every few years in the rainforest. Developing countries are hit harder than the developed countries. Now I am going to share some more details. We'll discuss in some more details the problems in these areas. The discussion includes tropical ecosystem, its extent, and general understanding. Environmental problems would be discussed under the subheadings of atmospheric challenges, hydrological issues, biodiversity loss, land degradation, and challenges to human community. As I've already told you that which is what is the which all areas are part of the which all areas fall in the tropical zone. If you see the extent of tropical zone here, both sides of the equator, equator to Tropic of Cancer in the Northern Hemisphere, equator to Tropic of Cancer in the Southern Hemisphere. This entire is the tropical region. The environmental problems includes atmospheric challenges, hydrological problems, biodiversity loss, land degradation, and human community, or the human community facing the problems. Let us come to atmospheric challenges first. Over decades, anthropogenic emissions of chemical compounds and atmosphere have caused many environmental and health problems. Some chemicals such as chlorofluorocarbons, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide are unfavorable byproducts of the development and growth. Climate change, air quality, stratospheric ozone depletion going to have multiple impact on health, crop yield, ecosystem cooling, and heating of the atmosphere besides the human health and well-being. Wealthy nations also transfer pollution by purchasing goods or getting manufactured in less environmentally friendly manner from the poor countries. As a consequence, vulnerable communities in poor tropical countries are exposed to adverse health effects by air pollution. The tropical cities are amongst the most polluted cities of the world. The haze and the acid rain have been emerging regional issues overwhelming the dependence on coal. UNEP data reveals that the emission of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide are very high in Africa, Asia and Pacific region. Let us now move to hydrological issues. Offshore exploration of oil 
pollution dumping at sea are contributing to marine ecosystem degradation. African countries are facing major challenges to provide enough water to the growing population. There are 46% people without the excess of safe drinking water. Water pollution problems in Latin American countries and Caribbean have become serious issue. Excessive demand of groundwater in coastal cities in tropics has led to saline intrusion and ground subsistence. According to World Water Commission, in developed countries, most water bodies are heavily polluted and domestic sewage, industrial affluent, chemicals and solid waste in urban areas. It has been reported it has been reported by WWC that in the, that in the region as a whole tropical South America, only 13% collected sewage receives any kind of treatment. Salinization of groundwater in coastal areas is due to over extraction. For example, Caribbean region is mainly, mainly because of the tourism industry. Physical alteration of coastline due to urban growth and construction of ports, industrial infrastructure, tourism are important factors to degrade marine ecosystem in South American tropics. Let us now move to biodiversity loss. Global warming rates explains the less rainfall and higher temperature enough to convert Amazon rainforest to savanna by the end of century. The Amazon covers one fifth of the world's fresh water and nearly 30% of world's plant and animal species. The rainfall in temperate, the rainfall in the tropical rainforest is expected to decline by five to 15% and the tropical forest can come to a point of total collapse as per UNEP reports. Deforestation of tropics is continued at the rate of 1,30,000 kilometers square annually, which is, a very, which is a very high rate of the decline or degradation of the biodiversity. As we see that in South America, green jumped parents have suffered major changes. Currently, 31% of rainforest species are at risk of extinction. Malaysia, Myanmar, and Thailand show one of the highest rate of deforestation recorded globally for commercial timber and extraction. Cloud forest and other humid for mountain forest have been identified as one of the most threatened habitat type in South America. These are the places in mountain side with persistent cloud cover. More than 60% of Asia's mangroves have converted to aquaculture, rice farming, urban and industrial land use. Mangrove clearance for shrimp culture has emerged as a major issue in the recent years. It is estimated that more than 60% of Asian mangroves have already been converted to agricultural farms. These led to release of nutrients, pathogens, and potentially hazardous chemicals to marine water, particularly, for example, if you take the example of prawns in prawn farming in India. In fact, coral reef is also equally affected throughout tropics. Draining of wetland for agriculture, developmental activities, pollution through effluent discharge have caused the loss of 50% of wetland in tropics. As a result, habitat conversion and loss of 
31 out of 178 ecoregions are in critical state, 51 are endangered, and 55 are vulnerable in South America. Together, Brazil, Colombia, Peru, and Mexico account for more than 75% of threatened bird species. Now, let me talk uh, the status of land degradation. Soil erosion causes increased rate of siltation of dams and rivers. For example, Rosier Reservoir in Sudan, which generates 80% of the country's electricity, has fallen by 40% in the last 30 years due to the siltation of night. Land degradation problems are directly related to land use practices. For example, Thailand land use pattern has changed dramatically over the past 30 years and forest land has declined by from 56 to 24%. It is predicted that wheat yield will drop by 20% and maize by 5% by 2050 in the tropical Africa. As we proceed uh, further, the land degradation problems, and uh, it is uh, seen from various reports that globalization is the key driver to the environmental changes. For example, if we see, look at the uh, Congo provides eight to nine percent of the global supplies of coltan, from which the Tantalum component of mobile is extracted. This has led to severe mining, thus leading to massive land clearance, soil erosion, and habitat loss. Similarly, erosion has affected 14.3% territory, depletion of nutrients from soil, and has affected 68.2 million hectares in South America. Let us move to see and assess how this climate change and these problems are affecting the human community. About 40% of global infant mortality rate is due to the pneumonia that occurs in tropical countries. WHO report indicates that Twen by 2030, about 3 billion people will suffer from health hazard due to pollution caused by burning of traditional biomass, mainly in tropical nations. Poor water supply and sanitation led to higher rates of water-related diseases in tropical Africa. 72 percent of cholera cases were reported from Africa. Disposal and treatment of industrial, toxic, and hazardous waste causes serious problems in these tropical nations. Tropical countries have become dumping grounds for significant quantities of hazardous waste from industrialized nations. There is growing protest about water-related problems. Besides the key environmental issues of land degradation, habitat degradation, water stress and scarcity, and other problems added to it are armed conflicts, poverty, food insecurity, and health impact. The risk is that millions of people in these regions will remain marginalized. Without more effective policy response, the current trend of worsening environmental conditions is likely to continue contributing to increased human vulnerability to environmental changes. So, uh, as we have seen, under various, uh, you know, whether the land degradation or it is the uh, biodiversity loss, the otherwise called the 
uh, lungs for the world and in what way the climate change, the environmental problems are creating a big hassle, a big problem to these people, particularly, I mean, the, why it is important is that in most of the tropical part of the world, it is the underdeveloped or the developing nation. So the kind of um, policy or the kind of uh, how they're going to cope up is very, very significant. I hope this will solve the, uh, this will solve the uh, different ways that how we can, uh, with what perspective we can understand the problems in these areas.